Hi, I'm Mike Den Hartog from Florida Drone Supply. And did you know the M300 will display not only horizontal distances to objects, but also vertical distances above and below? We're here today at the Sanibel Causeway, and I'm gonna show you how that works. Let's get started. Clear prop. As you can see here, there's a lot of information on the heads-up display. For one, you can see how the aircraft, it's very windy here today, and you can see how the aircraft is floating in the wind. But what we're here to talk about is that altitude display. As you can see here, it's 6.2 feet vertically from our takeoff pad right here beside me. And we are right now over the water at 8.8 .8 feet fluctuating. And you might not always get a good reading over water, just so everybody knows, because the reflections. However, 8.8 .8 feet, I can tell looking at it, it's pretty close. We're gonna go ahead and fly now directly under the bridge. And as we do, watch that altimeter, and you're gonna see as we go underneath, you're gonna see how it'll display the distance above. And I will stop under the bridge. There we go. Now it's gonna show you that we are 37 feet to the obstacle above us. And it's gonna show you the return to home altitude is above that. So right now, if it going to return to home, it would actually strike the bridge, which would be a bad thing. As you can see here, if I climb up a little bit, you can see the altitude numbers decreasing. And as we get closer and closer, eventually we'll get to that yellow band and that red band there, in which case we'll get an audio alert. I don't wanna get that close to it right now. But you can see how that's changing as I'm going up and down. And as I go up, I'm getting closer and closer to the surface. There's that beeping I was talking about. And then I come back down. And you can see how that's working. Now I'm gonna go ahead and then shift back out from under the bridge and you'll see how that indication will go away once I'm in clear sky. And there it is. So now I'm clear of all obstacles and I can go straight up. And you can also see that return to home where it's set now. I can modify that in my settings as we all are aware for the return to home settings. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button. As always here at Florida Drone Supply, we're here to answer any of your questions anytime. Give us a call, hit us up on the web. My name is Mike Denhart Talk from Florida Drone Supply. God bless and have a great day.